Hello everyone, myself Professor Pratish Chitte, working in Mechanical Engineering Department in Walchand Institute of Technology. In our third session, we will discuss mathematical functions. What are the learning outcomes? The students will be able to explain the different mathematical functions in Java programming. And with the help of these mathematical functions, they will execute the program regarding the mathematical functions. Contents. First, we will see the second session, the recap of the second session. After that, the mathematical functions. What are the different mathematical functions that we can use in the Java programming? And after that, the program based on the mathematical functions. So what we have discussed in the second session, we will have the recap of that. There are the two ways of Java programming. Always the Java programming is a two-step programming, Java compiler and Java interpreter. Java source code means the program that will be converted into the machine code directly with the help of Java compiler and the Java interpreter. But that is done with the help of two parts. That is, if suppose that is the application type, so that will be done with the help of Java interpreter and which is, we will get got the output in the application type. But if suppose that is the applet type, we will get the output in the, the applet viewer or the web browser, which is the, which will be the output. Java development kit. Java development kit, Java runtime environment and Java virtual machine. These are the three things which are very important in Java virtual machine and the Java programming. So what are the different types of Java development kit? Java compiler. In the Java compiler, the source code will be converted into the bytecode with the help of Java compiler code that is Java C. In the Java interpreter, that is the Java will be the code where we are having the bytecode and that will be converted into the output with the help of Java interpreter. Applet viewer is very important Java development kit file. Suppose we want to operate the applet programming, applet viewer is the file which will provide you the output regarding the applet program. Java H, suppose we want to develop the header files in the Java programming. So Java H is the Java development kit with the help of which we can develop the different header files because header files are absent in Java programming. Java P with the help of which we can convert bytecode into source code that is a reversible process. We are having the source code means the program and we want the output means first we have to convert it into the bytecode after that it will be converted into the machine code means the output. But now suppose we are having the bytecode that is class file and we want the source code means the program from that class file so that will be possible with the help of Java P file. Java document means suppose we want to create the HTML pages or the XML pages. Yes, we can create with the help of Java document file. Java runtime envoy, that is the second file which is based in Java programming. Java runtime environment consists of the different files like the Java virtual machine. In the next slide, we will see what is meant by Java virtual machine. Runtime class library. During the output of the program, during the programming, we require some of the variables, data, values, numbers, letters, so these all these things which are present in the library and which is a part of a class during the runtime of the program it is very important user interface toolkits that is abstract window toolkit which is very important for the graphical entity for the applet programming these two java runtime environment is very important java plugin and java web start because applet viewer the output of the applet program which will be achieved in the internet web page only. Java virtual machine. So what will be the conversion whenever you are having the Java virtual machine? The program or the transcript or the source code will be converted into the virtual machine with the help of Java compiler. So we are having the bytecode we are with, with us. So that is called as machine code. And after that, that machine code will be achieved with the help of Java interpreter. So this is very simple program. Suppose we want to print something. So with the help of system.out.println, we can print a particular statement that is welcome to advanced computer programming. So 
Java C is the compiler. Java is the two-step process. First is the compilation, second is the interpretation. Now you want the output. So Java C space test.java. Test.java is the name of the file. After compilation, Java space test. Test is a class name. So Java will be the, the interpreter. After interpretation of the program, you will get the output that is welcome to advanced computer programming that is present inside the system.out.println. You are having one question. What is the use of system.out.println? Just think about it. Now, now we are moving towards mathematical functions. There are different types of mathematical functions which can be used in the Java programming. For example, math.max and math.minimum. So math dot function that is the particular abbreviation or the code for the mathematical function. So whenever we want to type the mathematical functions, we are providing like math dot max or maybe the math dot minimum or the math dot square two. So these write things after the dot there are the function. Math dot max and math dot minimum with the help of which we can get the maximum or minimum number between the, the two numbers that we have provided. Math dot sqrt the square root, suppose you want to find out the square root of a number, yes, we can use the math.sqrt. Similarly, math.cbrt, so math.cube root, suppose you want to find out the cube root of a number, we can find out math.log and math.exe. So logarithmic value and the exponential value that is e raised to a number, yes, we can achieve with the help of log and exe. Math.seal and math.floor, suppose we are having the fractional number and we want the the increase in number or the, the decrease in number by one. So we are using the seal or floor. Mat dot sin, sin, cos and tan. These are the trigonometric functions. We are also having the hyperbolic functions like sin h, cos h and tan h. Suppose if you want to convert into the degrees, that is radian into degree. Yes, we can convert with the help of mat to degrees. So mat to radians means degree to radians we can convert. After that, Suppose you want to calculate cosec, sec and cot of the particular values. So yes, we can calculate with the help of mat dot a sine, a cos and a tan. After that, the last mathematical function that is number raised to number. Suppose we want to calculate 2 raised to 3. Yes, mat dot pow that is power with the help of which we can calculate the number raised to number. These are the problem statement. We will go to the first problem statement. Write a program with the help of different mathematical functions. We have discussed maybe 10 to 20. So this is the program. First, we will declare the variable a with the data type double. So mat.max in the bracket 20 comma 78. So a is equal to mat.max in the bracket 20 comma 78. So that will be here. There will be the calculation. What is the maximum number that will be calculated by the software that is our software. Manually, we don't have to calculate anything. After that, the calculated value will be printed here. That is maximum between 20 and 28, that will be plus A. So plus A value will be taken from this particular calculation. Similarly, A is equal to mat dot minimum 37 comma 89. So minimum value from these two values will be kept here, that is plus A. Mat dot sqrt. So here we have to calculate the square root of a 961. Here there will be the calculation of square root of 961 and that will be printed with the help of square root of 961 is equal to plus a. So system dot out dot println with the help of which the double inverted comma statement will be printed as it is and the plus a. So the value will be calculated here a is equal to that particular square root value of 961 and that will be printed here with the help of plus sign. The plus means the particular value will be calculated that will be printed and recalled with the help of plus sign. Here we are calculating 6 raised to 8. 6 raised to 8. So mat dot power is equal to 6 comma 8. So 6 raised to 8 will be calculated here and that will be printed with the help of plus sign. Means only with the help of one variable only we can calculate that particular mathematical function and we can store and we can provide the output after that suppose i want to calculate log of 7 yes mat dot log particular 7 value so log of 7 will be calculated mat dot e x p that is exponential of the 8 e raised to 8 value will be calculated and that will be provided here so mat dot seal so 20.23 20 
so during the output we will see what is the actually the output regarding the mat.cl and mat.plus rounding up of the particular value that is 20.23 that will be 21 here it is value it is that is 67.99 which is equivalent to 68 but with the help of mat.floor that is rounding down of the particular value with by one that is will be 67 only after that so sine of h is 19 that is hyperbolic of 19 so sine of hyperbolic 19 will be calculated here mat.cos h is 9 so cos 9 is where that will be calculated so hyperbolic tan will be calculated here cube root of 119 suppose i want to calculate yes mat.cbrt 119 will be stored here so last one will be math.radiance 45 so the 45 degrees will be stored and that will be converted into radian with the help of this now we will see the output our class name is math fun and file name is math fun m capital we will go to the dos from our file is stored in the desktop so so java c space math fun dot java so java space math fun so these are the outputs so radian 45 that will be calculated here so this program we will see in the next session these are the references